immune system the fighting mechanism our bodies are constantly under threat of germs viruses and harmful bacteria from the outside world these germs can enter our body infect and cause diseases to prevent this from happening our body has its own defense mechanism a skin is the first shield if some germs succeed in breaking this barrier then our immune system tries to detect and eliminate them as soon as possible the parts of our immune system white blood cells billions of white blood cells patrol the body through the lymph system and the blood these white blood cells are produced in the bone marrow inside the larger bones during illness their numbers can increase more than 10 times as they work to combat germs as you know white blood cells are a part of our blood they are produced in the bone marrow they are also called leukocytes and they roam freely through the body tissues they fight and kill any harmful germs that invade our system the lymph system a fluid called lymph travels around the body in tubes similar to body vessels these lymphatics or lymph vessels have small masses of tissue along them called lymph nodes lymph fluid lymph is a pale clear fluid that collects between cells and tissues it flows into lymph vessels and ends up in larger vessels called lymphatic ducts these empty the lymph into the blood system what lymph does like blood lymph delivers nutrients and takes away waste it also carries white blood cells that fight germs and disease the lymph nodes are packed with white blood cells which clean the lymph and kill germs there is no pump like the heart to push lymph around the body instead it flows slowly squeezed by muscles around the lymph vessels lymph only moves when the body's muscles are active fighting disease if a germ enters your body it can make you unwell your body has a mini army of different white blood cells such as lymphocytes neutrophils and macrophages and organs such as the spleen that are always ready to fight germs these make up your body's immune system first line of attack any germs that enter the body are attacked by white blood cells called macrophages each macrophage surrounds a germ and carries it in the lymph to a lymph node there other white blood cells called lymphocytes get to work lymphocytes identify germs by recognizing foreign substances on their surface called antigens lymphocytes then produce substances called antibodies that find other germs on this type and stick to them macrophages then destroy the germs and antibodies some antibodies remain in the body so that it can respond quickly to a germ if it invades again extra protection from diseases we get vaccinated to protect ourselves from some diseases we are injected with some weak germs causing a particular disease this provokes the immune system into action the antibodies produced by this action attack these germs immediately they also remember the structure of the germs to prevent future strikes